Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Screen mirroring lets you enjoy your iPhone content on a larger screen. It's great for sharing presentations or multitasking on your PC or TV. But how about mirroring your iPhone to your iPad? In this video, I will show you how to mirror your iPhone to your iPad screen using three different methods. Let's go. Before I start, please note that I'll be mirroring from iPhone to iPhone but everything should work similarly on your iPad, so you can follow these steps without any issues. For iOS devices, AirPlay makes it easy to mirror your display to another device like Apple TV, compatible smart TVs, or Mac. To use AirPlay, open Settings on both devices. Go to General, and proceed to the AirPlay and Handoff menu. Set the AirPlay option to automatic, so your iPhone or iPad can easily find and connect to nearby compatible devices. Then make sure that both the source and the destination devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Next, head over to the Control Center and click the Screen Mirroring button. When your iPad appears in the list of available devices, select it to start the mirroring process. If you're having trouble with AirPlay, try a third-party mirroring tool instead. There are many screen mirroring tools available, but I've narrowed it down to the two best free options that deliver excellent results. Let's start with A Power Mirror, a user-friendly mirroring app that you can easily download from the App Store. To connect seamlessly, make sure both your iPhone and iPad are on the same Wi-Fi network. After installation, run A Power Mirror on both devices to get started. During the initial setup, grant the app access to your location and local network to ensure a smooth connection. On the source device, tap the Local Cast button in the middle of the screen. Select your iPad from the list of devices and click Start Broadcast. Once you've mirrored your screen, you can share your audio so it plays on your iPad too. Now, everything you do on your iPhone should be reflected on your iPad until you disconnect. A Power Mirror includes handy controls for adjusting the mirror display, including options to flip or rotate the screen. You can also manually disconnect to stop mirroring on your iPad. Another application that also effectively mirrors the screen from iPhone to iPad is EasyCast. This app is also available for free on the App Store. After installation, launch EasyCast on both your iPhone and iPad. On your iPad, go to the receiving broadcast screen so your iPhone can find it. Click the Start button as soon as your iPhone detects the other device and start the broadcast. Now you can control your iPhone and see everything you do on the screen of your iPad. Keep in mind that these apps rely on Wi-Fi, so the quality of the mirroring may depend on your connection. You might experience some lag if your Wi-Fi isn't strong or stable. Just like the previous app, EasyCast also has controls to flip, rotate, or stop mirroring right from your iPad. If you're done mirroring, just open EasyCast again, and confirm by tapping Stop Broadcast. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye!